Hey, I'm Jasmine Hupp, and we're gonna do a couple of short shoulder stretches that you can do while still seated in your desk chair. First, go ahead and come to the top of your seat, and we're just gonna fold over slowly, folding over the legs, letting the hands dangle down, and taking five big breaths into the low belly. If you're somewhere where you can make some noise, use those open mouth exhales to release extra tension, release the jaw, release the throat, release the neck, allow everything to round down over the legs. And on your next inhale, bring the torso back up. Again, we're seated on the edge of our chair. We're gonna place the right hand on the right hip. We're gonna inhale the left hand up and over into a side stretch. Five big breaths here. Two more. On your next breath, bring the hand back down, place the left hand on the hip, inhale the right hand up and over. Now you can look up to the top hand if that feels good on your neck. Otherwise, you can stay looking forward. We're looking for a nice broad stretch in the side, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And your next inhale, bring that hand down. And we're going to take both of the hands, place them on the knees. And we're going to tip our pelvis forward as we bring the heart forward in between the shoulders, inhaling. And then we'll tip our pelvis back, bring the heart back between the shoulders, rounding as we exhale. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Can be a little tough to get the hang of this movement. It's very similar to a cat cow, except that the head and neck are not invited to this party. We're using the main part of the spine to open up more space in the back and shoulders, inhaling the heart forward between the hands and exhaling it back between the shoulders. You can do these at any pace that works for you. You get going pretty fast, it can be fun, but go ahead and take it slow if this is a new movement for you. And bring the spine to center, relax the hands down. Next, we're gonna take the hands onto our shoulders. The fingers will be in front, the thumbs are in the back. We'll inhale as we twist left and exhale as we twist right. The lower bodies as still as possible. You can go ahead and shut down the eyes so you don't get dizzy. Working within your own range of movement and at your own pace, you're going to inhale as you twist left and exhale as you twist right. Keeping the elbows high, parallel with the floor. This is opening up the upper back and the shoulders while working the twists as well. Now, if you hear little cracks or creaks in the shoulders, those are totally normal. As long as those cracks and creaks don't include any pain, 
you want to go ahead and just let them go. Those are the ligaments going back into the correct place. And come center, relax the arms. Next, we'll take the left shoulder, inhale it up and let gravity drop it down. We'll then let the right shoulder lift as we let it drop down. Inhaling up on the left, exhaling right. Notice again that the rest of the body isn't really invited to this movement. We're keeping the head and neck as still as possible, just the shoulders popping up and dropping down into their natural pocket. And bring the shoulders to stillness. We're going to roll the shoulders forwards five times. And roll the shoulders back five times. And next, we'll bring our hands behind us, grab onto the back of our chair, and stretch out the shoulders by pressing the chest forward. You can keep a little micro bend in the elbows if you'd like. My elbows are a little double jointed, as you may notice. We're looking for that pec stretch, that front of the shoulder stretch. Sometimes when we've done a lot of hunching forward, the pecs can get really tight and that just encourages that hunch to happen more often. So we're grabbing onto the back of our chair to stretch those muscles back into their regular length and space and counteracting that hunching over screens that we do too often. On your next breath, you can release the chair, shake out the hands and the shoulders. And then come into a self hug. It doesn't matter which arms on top of which. We're lifting the chest up into the elbows, broadening the back, allowing the shoulders to stretch open and giving ourselves a little bit of a hug. release the hands and you've done it. What a great job. You've stretched the shoulders and you didn't even have to leave your chair. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.